Strengthening Faith 113. I had a thought which I wanted to share. The obligatory prayers, which are central pillar of Islam, are more than a few movements. They are in fact a representation of Judgment Day. Each position of the prayer reflects a specific state on Judgment Day. Standing upright during the prayer is how people will stand when they are being judged by Allah, the Exalted. Chapter 83 al mutafafin verses 4-6 do they not think that they will be resurrected? For a tremendous day, the day when mankind will stand before the Lord of the worlds. Therefore, the one who is upright with Allah, the Exalted, by using the blessings he has granted them in ways pleasing to him, as outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and are upright to people, by treating them in ways they themselves desire to be treated by people, will find standing in front on of Allah, the Exalted, on Judgment Day easy. Bowing in the prayer will ensure a person is not labelled on Judgment Day, as one of those who did not bow during their life on earth when they were commanded to bow. Chapter 77 al Mursalat, verse 48 And when it is said to them bow in prayer, they do not bow, this bowing includes one's internal, verbal, and practical submission to Allah, the Exalted, during every situation and moment. The one who fails to behave in this manner may well be accused of failing to bow to Allah, the Exalted, on Judgment Day. The sitting position is how people will kneel before Allah, the Exalted, on Judgment Day, out of extreme fear. Chapter 45 al jatiya verse 28 And you will see every nation kneeling from fear. Every nation will be called to its record and told, Today you will be recompensed for what you used to do. The one who kneels before the obedience of Allah, the Exalted, in this world will find the kneeling on Judgment Day easy. Finally, those who fail to prostrate themselves to Allah, the Exalted, in this world, in the prayer and in every aspect of their practical life, by using the blessings they were granted in ways pleasing to Him, will not be able to prostrate to Allah, the Exalted, on Judgment Day. Chapter 68 al kalam verses 42 to 43. On the day when matters become dire, they will be invited to prostrate themselves but will be prevented from doing so. Their eyes humbled, humiliation will cover them. And they used to be invited to prostration while they were sound. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, warned in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 4919 that on Judgment Day those who used to prostrate in prayer for the sake of showing off will not be able to prostrate on Judgment Day as their backs will become too stiff. When one prays while bearing all this in mind, then they will return to their everyday activities with an intention to sincerely obey Allah, the Exalted, by using the worldly blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Him, so that they obtain peace of mind and body in both worlds and successfully overcome the difficulties of Judgment Day. Chapter 16 and Nal, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. Finally, the five obligatory prayers being spread over the day ensures that whenever one forgets Judgment Day, the next prayer will remind them of it and the importance of practically preparing for it. When one take these things and more into context, then the prayer has a much deeper meaning than simply completing a few ACTS of motion a few times a day. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.